Hey y'all, it's June. I have the best Italian hot sausage dip for you to try. First, you need a tablespoon of olive oil and some hot Italian sausage. Next, you're going to add an eight ounce package of cream cheese and you need to mix it thoroughly before you start adding everything else. You want that cream cheese super duper soft. So now you're gonna add a 15 ounce can of diced tomatoes. So now you're gonna add some Parmesan cheese and some mozzarella cheese, a tablespoon of garlic powder, and about a tablespoon of Italian seasoning. So now we're gonna add the red pepper flakes. And before you make fun of me, I cannot say pepperoni, pepperoni. I don't know. But anyways, we add a lot of that in there and I also put the juice in there. That's just what we like. And do not make fun of me, I can't help it. So now you're gonna add Parmesan cheese and mozzarella cheese on top. And then I set my oven to about 400 degrees and I let it bake for 25 to 30 minutes until the top was golden brown. And it was so good, like always. You have to try this and let me know what you think. All right, James is going to test out the Italian sausage dip that I make. It's Had so it good. It's really good. Yeah. If you're camping or you just like to have an, a dip or appetizer, a party, football, what's what's coming next? The Super Bowl, Daddy? This is just a great get together food. Cheesy. Mm -hmm. It's so good. It really is so good. It's probably the best dip I've ever had. Mm -hmm. Truth be told. And it's a little spicy. So it's good, ain't it? I'll leave you the link that I found it on Pinterest so good. in the description. But I, I don't follow it. I tweak it up a little bit to just however we like it. So we like it a little bit extra spicy and it's just really yummy. So good. You will love it. I give it a 10 out of a 10. You yeah. too? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's good. It's really good. <laughs> All right, guys. Give it a try. Okay, so here we got the Dutch oven. Um, I use the fire for the bottom here. And um, Scout Hush, baby. So this is what we cooked. Cinnamon spice cornbread by Famous, Famous Dave's. Dave's. Um, doing the Dutch oven, like I said, I used the fire for the bottom heat. And then just threw some coals on top. See how it's looking. Mmm, I think it looks great. Not I'm ready bad. to eat it. It's done. It looks so good. I'm telling you, he's a really good cook. Oh, he about burned his leg. So there you go. I'm kind of excited about that. I haven't had this. I do want to try it. So it'll be yummy. There's Mr. Good Boy. Can you sit, Scout? Sit. Can you sit, Good Boy? You shake. <laughs> That's a good boy. Good boy. Give him a piece of cornbread, That's Daddy. My baby. Go, tell us what you got. All right, so the famous Dave cinnamon something. Spice bread. Spice bread. Cornbread. Cornbread, cooked in the Dutch oven, over the fire with some coals. Um, I don't know, I'm gonna try it with some butter. And then I think I'm making some honey to go to. I'm gonna come in. Oh, you didn't get you any honey on it. Well, I'm gonna try without first. Mm -hmm. Is it yummy? Yeah. I don't know that it needs honey. It's kind of like um, it's like cinnamon bread or something. Let me try it. Oh, let me try a piece of honey. Okay. Just open. Yeah. Mmm. You got it. This is going to be good. I can already tell you.
Is it good? It's almost like a dessert. Really? So good. Yeah, it is good. Thumbs up. My turn. Okay, you ready? Mmm. I like blood. Isn't it? You can really taste the cinnamon. Tastes so good. So Dutch oven over the fire with some coals. Mm -hmm. It's legit. Y'all yeah. should try it. Thanks guys for watching our video. We hope that y'all have a great new year coming up and I pray that the Lord just blesses you and your family every single second of the day and i love yuns and remember god is good and he's faithful and he is for you so keep going